Yeah. Hej, jag heter Olle. Jag heter Adrian. Jag heter Sara. Hej, hej. Jag heter Live for en fris och jag synger i Live. Då heter jag bara Live. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Dine Audio Unheard. My name is Christopher and I'm your host. My next guest wanted to travel the world, so she left Norway but got to Denmark where she stayed put. Her debut single, Copenhagen, was released in 2017, but she has more music right on the way. Guys, Liu, you've just been in the recording studio. How was it? <laughs> it was great. We had uh, fun. We played Copenhagen and a song called Sundags Chill mm-hmm. and uh, a song called Full Of. I mean, it's um, from some of the artists that I've talked to previously. It's it's a, a kind of a little bit of weird experience, right? Because it's a, a mix between being in the recording studio and then also playing live. Because you have an audience and you're in there trying to get a track recorded, right? It, it's a, how did that feel? Like a concert in a fishbowl. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a very accurate picture, actually. So, um, do you, I... But it was fun though, people were, we couldn't hear them, but we could see them like applauding and yeah. it's... And you yeah. knew that they could actually hear when you were talking with Ashley in the control room, they were listening in and could kind of get an idea of how is it to be in the studio, right? Yeah. yeah. I actually didn't know that. that well, that's good to know <laughs> yeah. now. Maybe next time I will uh, <laughs> keep it Maybe cool. we should uh, say say to someone, remember to tell everyone yeah, that, exactly. that you can hear what's going on outside. But the only thing missing was, uh, was the bubbles, you know, when you're in an aquarium. Yeah, uh, <laughs> like yeah we didn't pump oxygen into yeah. it. But that could, be, uh, that could actually be good for the creativity, <laughs> right? Like just just as a show, you know, yeah. for next time. Yeah, I'll, I'll <laughs> add that to the uh, to the suggestions box, uh, definitely. We would love that, and we're com- definitely coming back. <laughs> oh, I hope you're coming back, no matter what. But yes. if that's the, if that's what we need, I'm Bubbles. gonna try and make sure that we get it installed. Somebody could just be like blowing, like so full, yeah, so bubbles. Yeah. Like, <laughs> to make that. I'm sure we can find someone who's up for that. I know, or at least I read that you. You set out, you wanted to travel the world with your music, and then you got to Denmark, and you kind of got stuck. <laughs> so, what happened? Yeah, but that's how the lyric goes. <laughs> that's the lyrics in the, in the song. Uh, actually, it was another song in English about uh, going out on a party with your friends and with your girls. And then Ulle, he's from Stockholm and I'm from Oslo and we're both a lot in studio in Copenhagen. And he was missing Sweden so much and then I was just singing Men du er bare her i Kjøbenhavn. And that's how, how this, uh, this song uh, came to life, just like a joke, kind of. But then... The lyrics is about my dreams as a little girl uh, going out in the world and doing everything, but just, yeah, getting stuck in Copenhagen. <laughs> but, I'm, but I've been traveling a lot though. This year I've been in, <laughs> this year I've been in LA, uh, New Orleans, Brazil. Going to Japan in October. Or recording music? No, it's playing concerts and on tour. Okay. So that's a pretty diverse list, right? I mean, LA, just LA to New Orleans, but then Brazil and Japan. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that must have been some pretty amazing experiences. Aarhus as well. Uh, yeah. Aarhus. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty special place. It's very intense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A very big city, right? Um. So, where do you, when you have to write a song, or you as a group have to prepare for a show, where do you find your inspiration? Uh, 
I don't know, but <laughs> now, now, uh, now it's been like very busy year and crazy year and a lot of traveling and a lot of people. So what I did now, I went to my uh, hitta, as we call it in Norwegian, my parents' uh, summer house by the sea. And I was there just alone for three days or something, just sitting, looking out on the water, doing nothing, meditating. And then it came some new songs. Uh, so for me, it's just some relaxation. And then the music comes from me inside when I, when I don't push myself. I, I can't push myself and then write songs. But he's very good at that, <laughs> aren't you? What do you mean, what am I good at? I'm always writing. He's very good at like writing, like Ulle write a song and he can write a song on the spot, which is very good. I'm, I'm more, I have to find my inspiration. He's like Superman. I'm not Superman, but I think we're a good team because <laughs> Liva brings a lot of energy into the studio. And then she drops the energy as well. <laughs> and then and then I just continue my work. Yeah. He's always like, <laughs> Well, she says Superman, I'm more like sign. a machine just going kudish, kudish, kudish. And then leave it all of a sudden lights up again. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> And then you're back. Yeah. By the time I'm like almost like. And then, and that's, uh, yeah. You compliment each other, it sounds yeah, like. I think yeah. so, yeah. <laughs> uh, but you were talking about being in your, um, in your parents' summer house in Norway. And I know that there's scorches nature. Uh, combining that with being alone, solitude, is, does that, is that a type of fuel for inspiration as well? Yeah, just like removing distractions. When I have some time where I can, normal people start to get bored, then for me it comes songs. Don't get bored, it comes some songs. And I send them to Ulle and I'm like, hey, <laughs> listen to this. Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, so in almost anything we do, there are inevitable ups and downs. I want to talk a little bit about what it is that make you guys as musicians want to power through even the downs. What do you do when you're feeling that, oh, this is a, I don't, I can't figure out this song or I, I'm thinking about, I don't even want to do this anymore. What is it that keeps you going? We should actually ask Ulle that question. <laughs> You're the best at that one. <laughs> I'm like, I'm giving up everything. <laughs> Ulle's like, no, no, it's cool. Let's have some food. <laughs> the machine kicks in and powers through, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, okay, well, yeah. Just have some, ha keep the faith in you have some basic faith and uh, it's a matter of uh, discovering that faith either through a school with teachers and other uh, students and uh, uh, friends telling you it's like hey you're good what you're doing is really good and then trust that yeah. you, but you don't have to go to school you can just whatever you compliments you've received all the positive feedback you store them mm. and you keep them so if you lose perspective you can step out of the whole a depressive bubble and be like, oh wait, hey, I'm actually pretty good. Making deposits of positivity, right? Yes. Yeah, really saving that. Yeah. And the more, yeah, in this practice, and the you become better and better at that. Yeah. Guys, my final question. If you could go back in time to when you were just starting out in music and you could give yourselves one piece of advice that would make the journey just a little bit easier, what would that be? Just have fun. Music should be fun, so when it's not fun, you're doing something wrong. That would be my advice. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Perfect. I agree. Perfect. Leave it, leave it, she nailed it. Guys, thank you so much for wanting to play in our mobile recording studio and taking time out of your uh, smoke fest to come here and talk to me. I'm gonna cut you loose, so go out and enjoy the festival. Thank you very much for having and, us. And um, for all of you watching, I know that these guys got a rave review on Gaffer, so make sure 
So go in and find their music. Go Copenhagen. It's a great song. So check it out. Yeah, but it happens with this. He come to tell me now. Står alene på Nørrebro Hvor alle er to Hvor alle er Jeg er bare her i København Ingen som kan uttale mitt navn Står alene på Vesterport Og blåser bort